Hey, hey, YouTube, another commentary here by Oh My God, a Banana. This time I'll be showing you Shivana, the half dragon lady. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. I just played her fight my first game. I did not too bad, so we're going to see a bit of footage of that. So, pretty much, you can. I like to build her AD since she's a melee AD champ. You can build her AP since she has two abilities to scale up with AP, but I really don't recommend it. It's really better just to build her AD. So, pretty much, you can jungle with her. So, here's me in a bot game just showing you how to jungle with her. So, while I'm showing you how to jungle with her, I'll tell you my runes and my masteries so i like to go 2109 if i'm going to go in the laning phase if i'm not going to go in laning phase it's obviously going to be different for the masteries but it doesn't really matter you could still jungle pretty fine if you don't know what to do with the masteries um uh when it comes to runes when i jungle i go armor pen red armor yellow armor uh blues and flat health for quintessences when i lane i like to go flat ad so i get that extra um damage burst at the beginning with your q it really helps so i'm going to get into her abilities now so let's start with her passive so her passive is called fury of the dragonborn so pretty much shavana's melee attacks enhance her abilities her q reduces the cooldown by 0.5 percent every time she attacks her w extends the duration by one second for a maximum of six seconds and her e deals 15 percent of ability damage to debuff targets her ultimate attacks generates two fury and shavana passively gains fury over time while in human form. So basically I'm going to explain all of that when I explain the abilities. Her Q is called Twin Bite, so basically after activating it, it's like Wukong's Q. You hit the person and it deals bonus damage. It actually hits the person twice and at level 5 it's 100% of your AD. So pretty much it's like if you stroke an enemy twice, but remember, like Wukong, you can hit it on turrets and you can auto attack and then press Q again and it refreshes your attack so right there that's like three strikes that you just did within a second which is very good early game that's why I like to go flat AD you could deal easily somebody's half health when you have exhaust they'll have reduced armor so you can even do more damage slow them down and easily get first blood her W is kind of like Garen's spin to win except you're able to auto attack while you're spinning it gives you movement speed and not only that um, it doesn't do as much damage as Garen, of course, but that's the ability I'll be maxing up first, and then I'll be maxing up my Q, and finally my E. I go. Shivana's E is a skill shot nuke that lowers the person's uh, armor if it gets hit. It's a single target nuke, therefore, whatever hits in the way, it could be minions or anything, um, yeah, it's gonna hit the minions. So basically, you could use this for farming if you have bad range and you're getting harassed by other champions. So Shivana's ultimate is probably the best part of Shivana. It's the funnest part. Pretty much after accumulating 100 fury, um, you can accumulate it passively with your passive or by auto attacking more, kind of like Renekton or Trindomir, right? Um, but there's no cooldown on her ultimate, but she needs to have 100 fury to use it. So basically, when you use it, you it's pretty much flow, jump over walls, jump over anything, because it's a huge-ass dash, which is very overpowered. I think they're going to nerf it because it's just stupid. You can use it to run away, you could use it to activate, and pretty much anyone that you hit in the way knocks them up, knocks them back with you. So that's why I'm going to tell you guys to build her tanky. You're going to be able to just initiate, jump in there, do as much damage as you can, and pretty much when you're your dragon form, all your other abilities gain other kind of abilities, right? So basically, your Q strikes everyone instead of just one target. Your W does AoE damage on top, kind of like fire instead of just a spinning thing. You'll see there's like flames on top. And the E does a cone of skill shot nukes instead of just one um, skill shot nuke, kind of like Ash's Volley. So pretty much her ulti is her bread and butter. It's awesome, guys. It's super great, but it's really overpowered if you're on the other team, which kind of blows. Through mid and early game, you're going to want to let your team initiate for you since you're not tanky enough and you can't just go in there and absorb as much damage as you can and kill people, right? That's pretty much a jobs tank. So as you see now, I'm pretty much telling Singe to do that job and pretty much me just hanging in the back going in for kills to get big. As you get into late game, then you'll be tanky enough to use your ulti to go in and do all that stuff. Shivana is great at backdooring turrets. With your Q, you can do a lot of damage, and also I'll be telling you my item build, which part of it is Yumu's Ghost Blade, which will give you a lot of attack speed, so you can backdoor it really well. Um, you also have a great escape plan. You can escape with your ultimate, as you'll see in a second. 
through this commentary, you're going to notice that this is my only game I've played with Shivana. It was my first game and only game so far and really wanted to make a YouTube video right now. So there might not be all the footage you're looking for. You might say, hey, why, are you, why did you do this? Why did you initiate this way? Why didn't you do this? Well, I'm kind of a noob still with her, but I'm just here to show you how I play her, her first impression, the pretty much the first impressions and how you can play. As you see here, I'm backdooring to get the last turret to get the inhibitor, but I see that there's a Graves, and I see that the rest are all in my A, so I'm like, alright, I'm just going to run away, and pretty much I see a Fiddles, I'm like, crap, I'm feared, Leona's probably going to CC me, so I use my ulti to get out. Not only that I maybe wasted my CC, but I got my team to be able to get Baron, while I was distracting all four of them. As you may already know, or do not know, as you know, you're not a, oh my god, a banana fan. Well, maybe now you'll be, because my item builds are aws always, or almost always, amazing. So basically, this is the build that you're going to want to follow. It's not the direct order, but this is what your final build should look like. Your first starting item, everyone can start with whatever they want. I start with Thorn's Blade, just because I want it, okay? So basically, you're going to get Merc Treads to reduce the tendency when you're going to go and jump in there in your alt form, right? You're going to get your Yumu's Ghost Blade to give you attack speed, like they recommend. Um, give you some attack damage, crit strike, and movement speed when you activate it, and it's perfect for backdooring. You're going to get Triforce to get that sheen power when you use any ability. It's going to help you backdoor. It's going to help you move. It's going to help you freeze people. It's going to help you um, with the movement speed, um, slow people, everything. It's just Triforce is an awesome item. Wit's End is going to give you more attack speed, going to give you some mage resistance and some damage per second um, when you're attacking, which is another great item. Um, you're going to go with uh, Atma's Impaler and Warmogs, basically, some people call it Atmogs, to give you that awesome um, health, survivability, and attack damage that you're going to need when you're going to charge in there. So let's study this clip right here. I almost get a pentakill. Why? Because I do exactly what I said I would do, right? So I get suppressed, which is not really planned. But anyways, I start get, doing my W, start auto-attacking, using my Q cleverly. Then I go inside with my dragon for form instead of using my E right away. So I can use the cone instead of just hitting one target, right? I do all my damage, soak up a lot of damage. If I had my war mogs, like my final build says, I would have gotten a pentakill. So basically I got a kill here, got a double kill, go for the triple kill. Go for the quad kill, but Irelia jacks it, oh no, and then go for the penta kill, and pretty much, no, I miss, and I die. But seriously, if I had Warmogs, that that Leona would have died, I would have gotten a kill if it wasn't going to be for Kiwi jacking the penta. So, if you follow that like play right there, that's how we're going to win. So remember, just do all your abilities except for your E, then Dragon Form in, knock them back, disable them, then use your E to do your cone, and then do your other AoE damage, which is going to be great. And seriously, if you really like this commentary, like it, comment, favorite, subscribe, please. I'm begging you, do it. It's going to help me get more views. Thank you. Have a nice day. Peace.